Hi, my name is Rick and welcome to Digital Fortress. In today's video, I'm doing a beginner's guide to verifying the 12 word passphrase in the Daedalus wallet. I'm going to show two versions of how to verify the 12 word passphrase. In the first version, it's very simple. You only need one computer and one instance of the Daedalus wallet. And you simply create another instance of the same wallet inside the currently running wallet. You can create multiple inside. Then re enter your 12 word passphrase. And we're going to check to see that we get an indication that the wallet already exists. This is a, a confirmation that you do have the correct 12 words written down. It's not the most perfect confirmation, but it is really good. Then in the second part of the video, if you would like to watch further on, I'm going to show you how to install the wallet, the 12 word passphrase, and restore the wallet in a separate instance of Daedalus that is running either on another computer or in a totally separate instance of Daedalus on a separate operating system. This completely verifies that your, pa your 12 word passphrase is correct by creating another instance of the same wallet. The second wallet is also fully operational, so you can either use it or be careful to delete it because it will have complete access to your funds. So let's take a look at the first method I described where we're going to create another wallet inside the same instance of Daedalus using one computer on one operating system. I'm going to begin with Daedalus and creating a new wallet as if I was creating a brand new wallet from scratch. Your screen will look just like this. And this for the first instance, I'm going to create a wallet from scratch, then recreate it inside this same instance of the wallet. So I select create. We're going to call this one my first wallet. Always enter a spending password. Your private key will be encrypted with the spending password. Enter the passwords and create personal wallet. There will be a pause here where it has you read the recovery phrase and the continue countdowns on the following screen. You'll see a 12 word passphrase. This is what you need to write down and this is what we're going to verify as well. So the wallet backup phrase can be entered in any version of Daedalus in order to restore your wallet. Check mark continue and write down these 12 words. Never show these 12 words to another person unless you want them to have access to your funds because they'll be able to create a wallet and use it from here. I'm only showing them online here for training purposes. Now I select yes, I've written them down. Now I go to the next screen and I re-enter the words in the order in which I've written them down. Once I've re-entered the 12 words, read these statements carefully, verify that you understand them by checking the block, and select confirm, and your wallet is now created. Next we're going to verify that I did write down the 12 word pass phrase correctly and that the wallet can be recreated inside the same instance of Daedalus. So I'm going to go back over to the left hand file menu and hit add wallet. I'm going to hit restore using backup recovery phrase. I'm going to call this my recovery wallet from the original. This will be a replica of the original and now it asks me to enter the recovery phrase and I'll type it in. As you can see, I've typed in the correct 12 words again, and the red band disappeared from around the enter recovery phrase, meaning that this is a valid wallet. I'm also going to type in a password, and it can be different, but I'm going to use the same one. Now I select restore wallet. And as you can see, it gives me this red alert that says 
wallet you're trying to restore already exists. That means that this wallet is already here. So this gives me a good indication that I do have the correct 12 word passphrase because it's very difficult to replicate all of these words in the correct sequence. Now what would happen is you would, if your words were out of sequence, either it wouldn't work or it will just create a wallet with zero balance in it instead of saying wallet you're trying to restore already exists. This is what shows us that that 12 word passphrase, passphrase is valid. Next what I'm going to do is restore the wallet into a separate instance of Daedalus so I would either go to a different computer or I would go to a separate operating system. I happen to be running VirtualBox on this machine so instead of going to a completely different computer I'm going to hop on over to Ubuntu and restore this wallet, my first wallet, into the Daedalus wallet in Ubuntu. So slide over there. Here I am in a separate instance of Daedalus. I'm going to hit restore. Name the wallet. Enter the recovery phrase. The red clears when I enter all 12 words correctly. I'll go to password. I select restore wallet and the wallet restoration begins. So because I'm on a different instance of Daedalus, it will actually create a new copy of the same wallet. So I'll have two identical wallets on either two different operating systems or two different computers. So as you saw, the first method that we did, just in summary here, was we simply created a new wallet inside the first instance of our my first wallet. You hit the plus sign and you try to add the wallet using the restore button and you'll get the alert that says the wallet already exists. That's because you're trying to recreate it inside the same instance of Daedalus. And if you recreate the wallet or if you hit the restore button on a new instance of Daedalus on a separate computer or a separate operating system, it will actually create a duplicate of this same wallet. The one last thing I'll do is show you a quick test of how that actually works once this wallet finishes restoring. So the last little bit I'm going to show you here is if you use the second method to create a new wallet on a different computer as I have here, I want to show you that the addresses are the same on, I call this one my first wallet. Here's the receive address, 3POFZI3PZMT, I go to the other wallet, the receive address. BWD 3POFZI3PZMT. Now, of course, uh, I'm going to delete these wallets when I'm done. And to show you something cool while I'm here, I'm just going to send ADA to one wallet and it will go to both wallets. Send 2.2 ADA. And I hit send. And as you can see, I've received the 2.2 ADA in the original wallet. And I received the 2.2 ADA in the restored wallet because they are the same wallet. You have to have two separate instances of Deadless running to create two separate instances 
of the same wallet. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you have any ideas for other videos you would like to see me make, please leave me some of your ideas in the comments down below. And if you would like to see more videos, hit like and subscribe. If you would like to get notifications, feel free to use the bell. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.